Hello, my name is Keith Curley, uh, owner of Curley Sausage Kitchen along with my wife Tammy. Um, our website is curleysausagekitchen.com. We sell uh, sausage seasonings, um, meat equipment to the home processor, the wild game hunter, and the backyard chef. Uh, today we're going to be making bratwurst, fresh sausage bratwurst. Uh, we sell three different kinds of bratwurst. We have a uh, our regular bratwurst, um, which is a very good seller, and two new items, uh, a Swiss bratwurst um, that has a little, uh, onion and garlic in it for the people that like a little bit more garlic. And then we have one that is getting to be very popular, is the, the apple bratwurst. Um, today we're going to be making um, some apple bratwurst and some Swiss brats. Uh, we're going to be stuffing them into hog casings. We sell two different um, brands of hog casings. We have what's called the Home uh, home Pack Hog Casing. Um, it's a little less expensive. It does 25 pounds. Um, they're, they're good. Sometimes they're not consistent in size. Um, then we also sell what's called a, a hog hank which uh, does uh, 115 pounds um, these are the ones that I use um, they're the ones the packing houses use and uh, they're uh, more consistent and uh, there's no whiskers on them and um, it, it's a better deal by far but um, both of them are, are definitely a, a good quality casing okay first of all um, we're going to uh, need some meat and um, I'm going to make uh, the bratwurst all, all out of uh, um, fresh ground pork. Um, you could use it with uh, a venison, uh, mix it 60% 60, 60 venison, 40% pork. Uh, some guys like to use beef instead of pork. Uh, uh, even some guys like to lean it up a little bit, uh, going 70% deer and 30% uh, beef or pork on the venison. Uh, but by no means, do not make it just straight uh, um, venison. It would be way too dry to eat. So, um, First of all, we're going to uh, grind the meat. Um, you can buy the meat already ground uh, from your local butcher or grocery store or whatever. Um, otherwise, uh, uh, you can uh, grind it yourself, which is what we're going to do today. Let me get him over here. We're gonna grind it. I don't. I don't like a real fine on my bratwurst. I like a little, just a little bit more coarse ground. Get this plate out here so you can see it. Um, we're gonna grind it through this plate here. And one thing I do like to do also is um, before I start grinding, I like to take the, uh, a can of silicone uh, grease and lubricant. And what I like to do is just spray it. It's, it's food grade approved. Um, that way when that knife is hitting that blade, or that uh, plate rather, um, it's not hitting metal on metal and uh, produces heat, which could damage your, uh, uh, your grinding plate. So uh, that's something that's pretty important you might consider doing. Okay, fit that on there. Now you want to tighten this kind of snug. You don't want to crank it on there so tight that you, you can't get it off. That knife has got to move in there. So, Okay, we're going to grind our pork, like I say, to a little bit more of a coarser plate. Um, I just bought um, a 10-pound tube of ground, ground pork from our local uh, uh, grocery store. Um, it, it's, it, but it's ground um, so coarse uh, what we're going to do is uh, just grind it once and that'll uh, uh, be just, just right. One thing you want to do too is make sure you shove the meat down in there um, before you start your grinder. Okay, we're just going to fill the hopper pan here um, with some meat. And like I said, make sure you, before you turn the grinder on, make sure you, you stuff some meat down in there um, so that knife is not hitting that plate um, without any meat in there. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on. See how that makes it from a 
course to a nice finer, finer ground. Sausage making is probably uh, one of the most important um, things that uh, you need to do. Um, the meat needs to be thoroughly mixed uh, for it to have the right texture and what have you. So, okay, so we've got five pounds of uh, ground pork here. Like I say, you could use venison, beef, uh, uh, goat meat. You can use anything you want, um, any kind of meat. Um, but we're, today we're just uh, using pork. Um, we have it in a, a little hand mixer here. Um, you can mix it by hand um, in, instead of uh, buying the hand mixer. Um, hand, uh, once you buy one, though, uh, you wonder why you have them. They're, they're just a nice little thing to have. It kind of mixes up your meat. We're just kind of breaking up the meat here a little bit. Um, also, you can get uh, uh, mixers that will uh, fit on your your grinder too so the guys that do a lot of stuff um, that might be the way to go too so okay first of all we're gonna make a Swiss bratwurst I have the seasoning already weighed up I'm gonna go ahead and dump the half the seasoning in and we're gonna kinda give it a couple shakes here I kinda like to go one way for a few times and kind of go back the other way a few times. Then we need to add some water. We need a half a cup of water. I'm just going to add about half of it right now. And we're going to mix her up again a little bit here. You can really smell the onion and garlic in it. Okay. Now we're going to add the rest of the seasoning. And we're going to add the rest of the water. And we're going to keep mixing. You want, the, you want this meat to be sticky, kind of a tacky, so when you reach down in there and grab a, um, a handful of meat that actually will stick to your hand without falling out. mixing it'll start turning a little bit harder because that meat is starting to uh, starting to get tacky kind of sticky which that's a good sign yeah I can feel it already right here like I say mixing of the meat is, is a real important 
or that, that nice texture. You don't have a crumbly, kind of a sausage because it's not mixed properly. Yeah, see, I can see it right now. We're getting, we're getting where we want to go. See that right there? See? I mean, it's, it fell out, but I mean, it was, it was close. We're going to give her a couple more minutes here. So now if I reach down in there, see how that meat actually will, will stick to my hand. Um, um, that's what you want. You, it, it's got to be, it's got to be sticky. Um, if it's not, um, and then your meat's not, is not uh, uh, mixed properly. Okay, we're going to go ahead and um, fill the stuffer. Um, I just, I use a, a five pound uh, crank stuffer, which uh, fits my needs quite well. You can get them in uh, uh, 15, 20, 25 pound uh, different sizes, but um, of course they, that'll cost you more, but um, um, I, I just like the five pound batch. Uh, works for me. I'm just going to take this bratwurst and as you're putting it in the stuffer, kind of take your fist and kind of shove it down in there to try to eliminate some of the air pockets. Okay, we got the meats uh, packed in our, our, our little five pound stuffer here now. And now we're going to stuff them into hog casings, which I already have uh, soaking. Um, you need to soak these in a warm water for about 15-20 minutes. Kind of makes them nice and pliable and nice and easy. And uh, uh, kind of rinses off the salt that they're, they're, they're packed into. Um, like I say, these are uh, the hog hank ones. They're the um, ones that cost a little bit more money, but um, definitely worth the money. So we found the end here. Put the meat in here and we're going to crank it down until you can start seeing that meat come out. I'm going to take the casing, if I can find the end again here. And slip it over, I hope. Slide it over the stuffing horn here. I'll go ahead and fill it right all the way up. See how that just kind of pushes back on there. See how nice and even them are? That's what the cheap casing sometimes will be bigger and They'll have a hard time getting them on the stuffing horn. Um, okay. Let me just take a knife and cut it. Take this off to the side. Then what I usually do on the uh, first one is kind of pull this out. Just take a little granny knot, that casing, and uh, tie it tight. Okay, we're ready to stuff. Now you want a nice firm, kind of take your 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 forefinger and index finger right next to that stuffing tube. You don't want it so tight that the casing's gonna burst. keep the casings kind of pushed up. Every once in a while you get an air pocket in here, just take your knife and just poke a little bit over there. That's not going to hurt anything. And if you had two people, one person can kind of pull that away. That's your stuff in it. Okay. Okay, we have our uh, 
our uh, bratwurst stuffed into casings and now we're going to link them. Um, the easiest way to do it is, um, I kind of like just the mark on my little table here, um, how big I want to make whatever I'm making. Um, and the easiest way to do it is just take your, is to pinch it, twist it, take your knife, and cut it. Um, that's the easiest way for fresh brats. Might take a couple minutes. Once you get it down, kind of just squeeze it, twist it. There you go. They don't have to be exact. This is homemade. See how that goes. Like I said, I just make a little mark on my table here. Some people like them long. And Good enough to eat. Maybe that's what we'll have for supper. All right. Now, if you come across a hole in your casing, or sometimes you'll have a little air pocket in there, um, just take the point of your knife. Just put a little hole in there. That way, when you're grilling it, um, all the grease uh, won't be building up in there and flaring out at you. I mean, pretty much about the same size. Not really too bad. Fresh sausage is probably the easiest sausage there is to make. Um, you don't have to smoke it. So you don't need to invest in a, a smokehouse. Basically all you need is your meat ground, um, the seasoning mixed. You can use your hands. Uh, you don't need the mixer if you don't want to buy it. Um, and it's just an inexpensive way to um, use up a lot of your venison and your pork or beef that you have on hand. Okay, we're down to the end. And we're just going to cut him in half. Twist it. Okay. That one's a little big. Well, anyway, that's how uh, uh, fresh bratwurst is made. We, uh, there's uh, many different varieties out there. Uh, we do sell uh, the three, the, uh, the regular bratwurst, the apple, uh, flavored bratwurst and uh, uh, the Swiss style uh, bratwurst. Uh, uh, we, uh, we sell lots of other uh, fresh seasonings too. Uh, please check our website, curdleysausagekitchen.com. Um, we have uh, all our videos will be on there and we have a recipe page that uh, explains how to make different things and, and we have lots of equipment and, and also please email me um, if you have any questions or anything or call, um, we're here to help. So enjoy. Thank you.